Hey folks, it's Nate and it's time I got back to the drawing board. Tonight I want to talk a little bit about the importance of not fighting your creative process. Now I know that um, especially if you go to a, a formal art school or in my case a formal writing school, um, you'll be taught a process to go through when telling a story um, and it's often going to be presented to you as the process and that's how you go through it and um, it's very good to understand a basic process um, as as you're learning art or as you're learning writing um, it's also very important not to get too married to a process too early um, people have very different creative processes and creative rhythms and it's important to find one that works well for you now for me i have a tendency um, to lean towards what i refer to as non-linear writing or um, in the case of doing art non-linear art um, i jump around in stories a lot and um, that means when i'm writing i tend to have two, three, sometimes as many as five or six major story beats that I know I want in my story. And I will actually flesh those out. Um, I will outline the chapters they're in. Um, I will um, maybe even write chunks of those chapters ahead of time um, so that I know, especially if there's important plot points, plot twists that I want to work in, I can go back and foreshadow them then as I, I work my way up to them. Um, if you're going to reveal that there's a traitor in a group of people, you better set that up ahead of time. So, you know, I like to think about the revelation scene first and then go back and set that up. Um, if there's a particular world building fact that you want to reveal in a dramatic fashion, um, I will, you know, try and block out that scene and get down the details of what that world building fact is down and cleared out ahead of time. And I'll even write some um, things that I think could happen in the story along my way to that scene. As, uh, and then I'll know that they need to be earlier in the story, again, for foreshadowing. Um, so in writing, I find that to help a lot. Um, and it just spreading out from those points um, lets me construct my story easier and faster. And it also uh, makes the process of um, revising easier because I, I know um, what, what the plot points are already and um, I, can, I can weave them together easier in that way than just writing from the beginning to the middle and then realizing, oh, you know, I forgot all these plot points. Now I need to go back and work them in. I find it easier to do it that way. This isn't going to be true for everyone. But for me personally, um, it works better that way. And again, when doing art, um, I find that it's easier. Um, for, again, for me personally, I find that um, some days I'm just feeling pencils uh, a lot stronger than others. I'll go uh, through periods where for um, just a week or, or two, pencils will, will just come out real easy and I'll try and do as much pencils as possible. So I'll, I am right now, let's see, one, two, three, um, four, five, six. I think that's it. I'm currently six pages ahead on pencils. And then, you know, the last time I had a big pencil binge, I, I was actually, um, inks wise, I think I had just started on this page. Um, and I did you know, three or four more pencil pages then. And then I, I just come back and I work on the inks because this is a, it's a lot more time um, and it's a lot more concentration, but it's um, a lot less inspiration. And I do something similar when I'm doing layouts. When I do layouts, I tend to do layouts um, in a hurry. Um, they are very rough. Um, and, you know, I just spend like five minutes on a page and I'll try and whip out 10, 15 pages um, in a week or so of layouts. And then, you know, when when I kind of get um, tired of layouts or I can't focus and I'm not really feeling um, the, the pacing of that, I switch to something else. 
So when I sit down and I don't feel like drawing, I absolutely don't think there's anything I can do. I work on really simple stuff. Um, I work on filling details. Um, I work on adding shading, uh, things like adding pattern to flames here. That's something I do when I just, I need to get myself started so that the creative juices are flowing. I've primed the pump, um, so to speak. And then I can go back and work on things that might require, you know, a little, a little more concentration focus for me to be on my A game, things like um, doing outlines and stuff like that. And then, you know, if I'm, I'm really feeling inspired, I'll just sit down and I'll whip out some pencils or, or lay down some layouts. Um, so, you know, I've always heard and read about comics being created. You know, you do a layout, you do your pencils, you, you ink it, you do all your detail work, and, and then you send it to your colorist or your letterist, or if you're doing those things yourself, then you do those things. Um, and for a long time, I thought I had to go through each one of those steps in order. Um, and when I started doing things out of order, it was so liberating. I'm sure if you go to an art school, there's probably the good art schools tell you this at some point. I didn't go to art school. I'm self-taught. Um, and if there's anyone else out there who's self-taught, I'm sure you will probably fall into this trap yourself at some point. And you don't need to. Um, just your process, knowing yourself, um, what your strengths and weaknesses are, and how the best way to get yourself started and working on it is important. You know, the pros say... Um, it's all about sitting down and doing it. And that's very, very true. Um, and heaven knows I could use work on that. But knowing your process, knowing how to ease yourself into it and still be getting work done will help you to actually sit down and do the work. Um, just because you need to sit down and do the work um, and really need to grind it out doesn't mean it has to be a grind. Do everything you can um, to make it easier for you to get something done, um, even if it doesn't feel like a big deal. Um, all creatives feel the best when they're working out the big ideas, at least in my experience. Okay, speaking from personal experience, maybe you're not like this. But my experience is that all creative types feel the best when they're doing the big picture work, when they're laying out um, their outlines or their, their brainstorming and world building or they're coming up with their characters and their bios and, and all that other cool stuff. Um, and yeah, it's good to do that stuff. Um, and then when they they sit down to do that and they don't feel the inspiration coming, they're like, oh, I, I can't do it. Um, find something else that can jumpstart your creative process, um, the little things. And don't insist that you have to do um, each step in order when you can break them down and say, oh man, I don't feel like I can do this step today, but I'm really feeling this step. Um, just focus on it. This isn't an assembly line. Um, of, of course, if you you know have a colorist and a letterer, to a certain extent it is. Um, also, if you're not writing the script, to a certain extent it is. But there are still, um, you can still prioritize one thing or another depending on um, where you're you are in your creative space at, on any given day. And you can locate those parts of your creative process that help you ease into it. So if you, you're just not feeling creative on a specific day, you can still get yourself going and get yourself into that space, that mindset, and be ready to go and make something. Because you have to be doing at least a little bit every day or you're never getting it done. So don't fight your process um, to stick to some wrote out some wrote procedure um the whole point of being creative is to be flexible um and to roll with the punches you do need to get something done you need to be disciplined in that respect but find the approach that allows you to do the most every day um and worry less about um whatever prescribed process you might have been hung up on at one point and after a little while you, you might find you're making a lot of progress. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Uh, there's a like button and a subscribe button down below. Use them as you see fit, and I'll talk to you later.